Aloha HP alumni. My name is um, Ipi Iona. This is Grace Iona, my daughter. Um, I'm a 2006 HPA graduate. Um, you know, now we're going through a lot of scary times. Everybody is quarantined. Everybody's trying to do their part. And uh, I, uh, I had a talk with our um, alumni coordinators, I guess, and we thought it'd be fun if I put together a cooking video for us, you know, from one HP alumni to the thousands of HP alumni out there and the future HP alumni out there. So today uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to cook one of my favorite Italian dishes, uh, spaghetti carbonara. This is probably my, uh, this would be the last meal that I would ever wanna eat. That's how good this thing is. And it's really easy to do. So before she squirms out of my arms, I'll show you guys how to do it. So the ingredients we're gonna need to make this carbonara, obviously we're gonna need our spaghetti. Uh, we're gonna need some eggs. This is pancetta. Uh, if you don't have pancetta, you could use just regular bacon. We're gonna have some garlic, some parsley, some red pepper flakes, and a little bit of white wine. What we're gonna do is we're going to cook our, our, our spaghetti, obviously, get our pasta going. Um, every time you cook pasta, guys, I'm sure you've all heard this, but you wanna make the water salty like the ocean, okay? Put our spaghetti in here. And our sous chef is uh, ready for her dinner also. Okay, and I'm putting about half in there because it's only for me and my wife tonight. And uh, we're gonna let that boil, and while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and prepare everything else. While our pasta is boiling, we're gonna come here and prepare, we only have to cut up a few things. We're gonna cut garlic. Now, in my, in my videos so far, I've been showing people my trick to cut garlic, but um, I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen my videos yet. So what I do is, uh, instead of using the sharp end of the blade, I actually turn the blade over, and if you wanna zoom in on this, um, my wife is the camera lady, by the way, uh, I use the other end and I kind of just do the same thing like I would regular on the regular side of the knife except what we're doing here is we're actually kind of like smashing and mincing the garlic up all at the same time. We're allowing the oils uh, to be, oops, I dropped that one. We are allowing the oils to be released. Um, we don't have to do the whole back and forth, back and forth with the chop thing. You just do one and you got some chopped garlic, okay? So we're gonna cut up our garlic. And then we're gonna cut up our parsley. And then we're gonna mince up the parsley. Okay, and now we're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna crack our eggs into a bowl. Um, I usually use one egg per serving, so because I'm making two servings tonight, I'm gonna use two eggs. Now the egg's not done. Um, a little thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our pasta water, okay? And just a little bit. We're only putting a few drops into it. See, I'm only putting a few. I have a slotted spoon, so obviously I'm not pouring water in. But you wanna put some of this, uh, just a little bit of uh, this pasta water in here. The reason I'm putting only a little bit is I'm tempering my eggs, so I'm kinda getting the eggs used to the heat. And now all we gotta do is wait for our spaghetti to finish. All right, and now um, to check our pasta, to make sure it's al dente, to make sure it has just enough bite but not too soft, we're gonna do the old school trick of throwing it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, you're gonna taste it, obviously. Perfect, so I'm gonna drain it, and then we're gonna so get started. Now we're gonna put the dish together, we're gonna put this pasta together. It's a one pot dish, I guess, if you would, or one pot pasta. Um, it's easy, but there's a little trick to it. So I'm gonna have you guys pay close attention and uh, watch exactly how I do it, and it shouldn't be too hard. So we're gonna start with our pancetta. Like I told you before, if you don't have pancetta, you can add um, bacon, because pancetta is, is a uh, cured pork belly, so it'd be similar to bacon, it just isn't smoked. So if you do try to add bacon, maybe you can find one that's not as smoky, maybe not like a maple bacon or something like that, but, um, or if you just wanted to use pork belly, you could. So we're gonna uh, start crisping up our pork belly, or our um, pancetta, and we're gonna get that nice and crispy. So as you can see, that's what we're looking for, nice and crispy, but while we did that, it rendered a ton of the fat out. So you can see how much oil's in there. We're gonna actually take some of that oil out and keep going. All right, so you can see I took out a bunch of that fat, left a tiny bit in there. So for this next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the heat down to medium, because you gotta work fast on this part, okay? So we're gonna add our garlic, now the key here, guys, is not to let your garlic burn. We hate burnt garlic. 
So you're just going to give it a little mix like that. I can already start to smell the garlic. And then as soon as you start kind of smelling it, before it starts to brown, before you burn your garlic, you're going to add some white wine. Make it happy. <laughs> While the white wine is reducing, we are going to add a pinch of red pepper flakes. I'm going to add a little extra pinch because I like the spice. Okay? Now we're going to cook down the wine to uh, what the French call au sec. That means by half, I think. If you're a French major, I'm sorry, I don't know. But we're going to cook it down till it's uh, about halfway down, halfway gone and um, all that alcohol is cooked out and then um, we'll show you the next step. It only takes a couple of minutes. So this, like I said, this dish is something that's easy but you have to really watch. All right, so now that our wine is cooked out, or cooked down, we're gonna take our pasta, and we're gonna add our pasta into, oh, it's hot. <laughs> we're gonna add our pasta into here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it a few flips. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's two servings. And you might be saying, oh, how much are you adding? Uh, that's about two handfuls, three handfuls. So that's my culinary uh, measurements on there. Okay, now the one red ingredient that I didn't tell you earlier, this is Pecorino Romano, or um, you could use Parmesan, but I always add it at this point. Okay, so here, here's the tricky part, like I said. I put in my pasta, um, I let it get hot, I put, obviously, I keep the heat on, let it get warm, let it mix up with all the, um, the last bits of that wine. Now what you have to do is turn off. Let them see how I turn it off, okay? You're gonna shut off the heat, okay? I'm gonna move it away from the heat also, okay? The reason I'm doing this, guys, is because we're gonna add the eggs, but because we're adding the eggs, we don't want the eggs to scramble, okay? That is not what we want. If your eggs start to scramble, you're not making carbonara, okay? So if I only, you only have one hand, okay? And you don't wanna, you have to hold, and you have to mix, you have to mix it. If you don't mix it and you stop mixing it, it's gonna, it's gonna start scrambling. So what I do is I put my hip here, see the handle, okay? See the handle? It's not gonna move, right? You put bigger your hips, the better this works, okay? So see? So I put it up against there, and then I start adding, I start spinning. Now, while I'm spinning the pasta, I'm gonna add the egg, okay? Half of it, mix, mix, then the other half, mix, mix, okay? Like I said, this is off the heat. This isn't hot, okay? We are cooking the eggs, guys. I'm not saying not to cook the eggs. I'm just saying you don't want it to scramble, okay? So you can see how it's turning into a beautiful sauce, right? And now, at this point, what I do is I add my parsley, okay? Add my parsley. I add a little bit more of this Romano cheese. Okay, now you're gonna say, what are you thinking? This is what I'm gonna do. I put my thing back on high and I literally just put it on for a few seconds, okay? We're gonna count with each other. And you turn it off. Now, I, like I said, I do not want it to scramble, but you can see how it's still saucy, it's still good. I see a lot of recipes with carbonara has cream in it and that's, that's not how it's done. It's done with just eggs, wine, pancetta, garlic, that's it. You can see it's creamy, right? You can tell by that, right? Can we get in a little? You can tell it's creamy, you can tell it's done, but it's not scrambled, okay? Now we're gonna do a little pasta swirl and we're gonna taste it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That is... It's good, okay? It's the best way to eat bacon. <clears throat> it's the best way to eat bacon and eggs, guys. It is my favorite pasta. It's gonna become your favorite pasta. As long as you make it like this and you're not scrambling the eggs, you keep it creamy, you add the right ingredients, it's gonna be delicious. Um, I just wanna tell you guys, to the whole Kamakani Ohana out there. Um, we're all in this together, guys. You know, this is a scary time, but uh, you know, nobody's more of a family than HPA. And uh, to this day, I am 
brothers. I am family with the kid, the people that I graduated with. So I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. I hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all staying safe. If another alumni Ohana needs help, guys, please reach out and help them. If you guys need anything, you can contact me. Um, we're all here for each other. Thank you so much and aloha.